Right, so we got this class 870 on demo. <clears throat> we need to see what Seb makes of it. You know what you're doing? Yep. You think so? Yep. Right, off you go then, mate. Still out of toughers. Right. I told him what to do. I think he's got the hang of it, hopefully. So, um, this is my new class Lexian. Funny looking Lexian. I ordered one, paid for one, but got given this. <clears throat> Something to do with Putin apparently. But yeah, they couldn't get it made in time. So they went out and got me this because they'd already took my combine and sold it. And they've given me this to play with. So we've still got a class in the field, or class, depending on who you are or where you are. Um, yeah, cutting some continuous wheat. I'm not sure what the date is, but it's, it's bloody early to be getting into wheat like this. Good bit of wheat. Looks to be getting on all right. Got bar in the combine. Seb after he'd got the grain to come back and pick me up. I don't know if he will or not. He looks, yeah, he might be. So, we're chopping the straw today. We're gonna have a little look and just see what's coming out the back of the old thing. Let me have a look there. Literally nothing there. That's actually doing not a bad job. <gasps> bit of grain there, nothing too much. It normally dumps it all out in one place there, off the rotor. So there's a bit more here. And you come away a bit more. Yeah, there's nothing. So, I said it's worse there, but you come over here away from the middle of the combine. Yeah, the odd bit. I'm guessing we're under 1%. Come pick me up. See what he makes of it. We've had it for a couple of days now, so <clears throat> starting to get a feel for it. It's a bit different to what we're used to. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, it's good. Go all right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they do, they do stick out quite a lot, don't they? But yeah, you've done all right. You didn't spill any. Um, right, he can get up to the other end, so we might as well head down here, all right? Smooth, isn't it? Quiet. It is better than what I thought it would be, because we're used to running, we've got a couple of fence. Um, couple of John Deere's, haven't we? 
it's as quiet or smooth as them. Yeah. Have you got the fan on the seat? Yeah. I think so. Good lad. Are you going to do another load? Yeah. Alright. Joystick's decent, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's better than the Fent joystick. Yeah. Fits your hand better. Yeah. Sounds silly, but like the Fent one, half the stuff on it you can't actually reach mm. without having to move your whole hand. Right, slow down, so we <clears throat> turn in here and we'll wait for him to wait for him to come up this end. Turn to your left, mate. He's stopped. That's never a good sign. Oh dear. Ugh. Let's hope he puts it in gear and gets going and he's not actually got a problem. Wouldn't be the first time that thing's broken down this season. All right, stop here, mate. Let's hope he's just having a wee, shall we? Yeah. Yeah? Where is he? It's up there. To be fair, we've been going since, what, 8 o'clock this morning? What's the time now? So, uh, half 12 nearly. Yeah, so, he's allowed to stop every four and a half hours for a wee. But other than that, well really, you should do it in a bottle maybe. Don't have to stop. Yeah. Got time to stop. I'll let you start it up again and see some dust. Yeah, we'll put that down to um, yeah, toilet break. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anything else you want to mention? Could do better with the seat. Why? What's up with the seat? I don't like that one with the like, gapping this. Yeah, but <laughs> it's not designed for children, Seb. Oh, yeah. I'll put this back there. Yeah. That might help. Is that any better? Oh, that's better. I don't want you falling asleep in here, though. I'm going to be working. <laughs> what, what's going on in there? Oh, we've still got some jelly tots. You haven't had all my jelly tots. All right, here he comes. So, um, once he's come through here, Seb, and he turns around, yeah. you might as well just take what he's got and then we'll take it back to the store because I've got a bit of pushing up I need to do. Yeah. yeah. We're doing 0 0.06. You're actually moving, are you? Yeah, look, you can. Yeah, you are. Okay, you are. I didn't even know we were moving. Yeah, same. Look, it's 0.06. It would look a lot better if that was Alexian, wouldn't it? Oh, and especially if I was driving it. If you were driving it. Yeah. But, to be fair to class, class, whoever they are, they have been bloody good to us because we ordered one. It's not turned up. They took our combine from us in February, I think it was. Mm. It got sold. Um, and then this thing turned up literally a few days before harvest, didn't it? Yeah. Um, and it's bigger than the one we had, not by much, but a little bit. Is it? Yeah, well, our old combine was a 35 foot cut and it was a 685. No, it's got a bit more horsepower as well. Um, Looks better. Probably because the header is a bit Yeah, just, yeah, the header's a bit, well, I don't know if it's in much better condition than what our one was, if I'm honest. No, our one was 
but in all one you would just see it goes like it, yeah it, it was it was a bit bent sat lower on the on the sides didn't it I think this one's had a harder life though. Um, but yeah, they've looked after us pretty well. So they've ordered a new combine, paid for a new combine, but been given this. And you can't really complain because what they've said to us is that if um, that breaks down, they, they pick up all the bills and get it fixed, you know, so basically if we bend it, we mend it. But if it breaks down, they fix it. So really, the only running cost we've got with that machine, this harvest, is putting fuel in it yeah. and a bloke in it and insuring it. But that's cheap. But now this is like the cheapest harvest we've probably ever had because we're in a tractor that they've given us on demo using a combine that yeah we've sort of paid for in a roundabout way but we're going to get our combine in september when we've finished harvest and it's not going to have any hours on it it's not going to um need servicing cleaning blowing down anything depends where he's going to go mate And yeah, so I'm guessing if all goes to plan and that thing behaves itself, because it hasn't been, but if it behaves itself, we'll be done in about nine days then. Which means we'll finish harvest in July, which is gonna be a first. Do you wanna go and pull up alongside me? Um, and we would have done it with a combine that's not ours and haven't clocked up any hours on our combine. Because our combine brand new. Yeah. And then they've got another 300 pound sprayer. Well, yeah, yeah, we have ordered a new sprayer, mate, but that's not gonna come for nearly a year. We haven't got to worry about that. But, um. Shall I pull up next to it now? Yeah, yeah, you can get closer, mate, see what speed he's doing. I think he's doing about four and a half K. So we're doing nearly five hectares an hour, I think, on average. 12 and a half acres. It's not doing a bad job. Push your cruise control, sir. You know where to be? Yeah? Yeah, what, what Lexian have we ordered, mate? Uh, 7700. Yeah, 7700 with a... Uh, Seve, you want to go to your left a little? Yeah, no. Not much, actually, mate. You're, you're in the right place. Um, yeah, with a 40 foot Convio, which is a belt header. That's the only thing that's letting that John Deere down is the header. I think once you go over 30 foot, you probably want to be on belts because by the time that wheat gets to the feeder house, it's just balled up in a ball. And um, doesn't thrash out so well. Hence, we've ordered one with belts. When we demoed the combine, that Lexian said, you remember driving it? Yeah. We gained about, I reckon, another 20% output header, at least. Like, even if you hit a massive bump, the header will just go. Yeah, the header will grow. No, so he's, he's done, mate. You've got it all. all right, I'll go Take us back to the shed. All right, let's go. Shed's the other way, mate. I need space to turn You've got loads of space. Go. You've got a whole field here. Tram line. The tram lines aren't too bad, but yeah, they're a bit rough. Like, yeah. You've got to go a bit quicker, mate, or else we'll never get back in time. Yeah, but also this, this bit's probably Then you can send that. What's the toughest thing down there? <laughs> Hope you don't need to use a clutch, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs>
Right now, go, mate. Come on. Let's go. So we're gonna have to do some more videos, aren't we, Sebby? Yeah. When we start doing the cultivation work, but we haven't done any. There's one of our what? videos. We've got like probably by now it's 1,900 views. Possibly, yeah. Now we'll we'll do some cultivation videos, but we've now combined probably best part of a thousand acres, and we haven't done any land work at all because the ground is like absolute concrete. It hasn't rained here for over a month. And before then, it might have been 10 mil and then, and then it didn't rain for a month. So, yeah. I don't know when we're gonna start land work. We're gonna have to start at some it point. It's like a jump, actually. That is not a jump, so. It looks like one. You're definitely not going quick enough to get any air on it. Well, yeah, but. Right, well this, Sebi, I've been filming you for 16 minutes now. We should probably stop. We'll do another video later though, yeah? yeah. All right, mate. 